All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What's today's topic? I had a good friend that had this Kubota, which you see here without the top. I took the top off and I took this and I wire brushed it down real good. She was gonna throw it away and said, hey, is there any chance that you can revive this and make it look like something? And I figured, well, you're gonna throw it away anyway. And I've read about people that have done different things with you know, concrete. That's what this thing is. It is very heavy. So what I did is I went down to the dollar store and for just a couple of bucks, I picked up a set of three brushes, just, you know, throwaway kind of brushes. I picked up some green and I picked up some black. So what I did with this is I washed it down real good with water and scrubbed it with a wire brush and it's damp right now still. So the key is I kept it damp because I want I'm going to apply the first coat of black all over this in just a sec and I'll start on the bottom and that way it kind of it's like a whitewashing kind of a thing it gets black but you still got some gray and that's kind of what we want so I kept it damp so I'm going to flip it over here let's get right to it let's see how this thing turns out okay here it is upside down now I got a Tupperware container and I put a little bit of water in here probably about to right here just a little bit you can play around with this. You can make it real watery. You can make it less watery. And I just started squirting black into there and I mixed it up. Let me get the brush. Let's go ahead and cover this bottom part as much as we can with the black. Okay, so I've kind of whitewashed it down with the black. These are the containers, the green and the black that I got from the dollar store. Now, she stopped by and said, hey, can you do me a favor? And she was, I just want to see what it looks like. Can we put a little glitter on there? Yeah, okay. And so she dropped off a tube of gold kind of glittery kind of paint, I guess. All right, so we'll try that. It's just an experiment. I can always go over this if we don't like it. So let's see what happens. Right now, I'm just waiting for this to dry. I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna coat everything else with black. And then we'll start the kind of coloring and playing around process. So we'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, so here we go. Now I've got it sitting upright. Let's finish the black all over. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. It's still wet. It'll dry quick. Concrete, it's absorbing it. Should take but probably 30 minutes or so. And then I'll be back with you. Now, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is in this smaller container, I'm going to put green and I'm going to put just a little bit of water. I'm not going to put very much. So let me show you that because we're going to get this ready. And that should be plenty. Now, you can get this in metallic green, all different shades of green. This one just says green. Well, that's about it, but it does come in different variations, but I just got the regular green and you can see in here There's my green block. I'm going to put a little bit of water. I'll show you. I'll be right back. Okay, now I put very little water in here. So let me show you And I take this brush from the dollar store and I just stir it up mix it up real well and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do here in a few minutes. Let me get this dry and I'll be right back with you. Okay, time's gone by and it is nice and dry. So now we're going to use that green. And we're just going to, because it's watered down a little bit, we're going to kind of whitewash this thing with the green. There's the green and I just dip it in here and then I press it against the sides because you want to get a lot of that off of there. And then I just start wiping it like this. where you think you got it looking good. Okay, now while we're waiting for that to dry, and that's got the green on it now, again, it'll take maybe an hour or so. It shouldn't take very long and it'll be dry enough. Now what she wants on there, I could leave it like this. It looks pretty good. It looks kind of patinaed. And, uh, you know, and I did the top too. I'll show that to you here in a minute. But I used the top as kind of like an experiment. And I tried this glitter stuff. She really liked it. So we're going to do this whole thing with it. Then I'll put the top on it and you'll see the completed project. So down at the dollar store in these tubes, 
It's like a gold glitter. I put just a little bit of water in here, not very much, because I don't know how this is going to go on, because you just want to kind of gloss over it again like a whitewash and give it a little bit of glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze some of that into here. Actually, I squeezed most all of it in here because it was a tube that she had, so we'll use this first. But I do have another tube available, so this one's kind of empty. Then I got the brush clean again, okay? And I'm just going to turn around and kind of mix it in with that water. It, it's kind of like glittery. I wouldn't even call it a paint, really. It's just, I don't know. So but it's glittery and it's and I added like I said just a little bit of water because I want it thin when I go to kind of whitewash over this don't want it on there real thick okay so I'll be back with you in a second and then we're going to turn around and we're going to start applying this real light gold kind of a glitter that she wanted let's see what it looks like I'll go ahead I'll pan in I'll give you a close-up shot after that I'll be back with you as soon as this dries I'll see you in a sec Okay, time's gone by, and now it is time to apply the glitter. So let's see what it looks like. I'm just going to kind of dab it up and down. I'll start at the top here, just in case I don't like it. And this part will be hidden anyway because of the top. Ah, oh, it's not bad. It gives it a little tiny sparkle. Okay, we're back. I went ahead and I dusted that with that gold that I was telling you about, and it looks pretty good. Then what I had laying around because I had some Helmsman Spar Urethane. I'll leave you the links below on this stuff, but I had this laying around. I don't know how much it costs. Let's say, you know, it's $10. I got $10, I got 11, 12, 13 in the paint, brushes, 14. So for about 14 bucks, you can repurpose something like this if you got it laying around. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the top on it. I'm gonna shoot it with this clear, the whole thing. I'll be back with you in a minute, show you the finished product, and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, here we go. It is all done. Let me zoom in a little bit. And it turned out okay. Uh, it's got the top on it now. Everything looks good, and, uh, you know, I hope they enjoy it. Anyway, it's something you can play around with doing very inexpensively. Like I said, the cost of materials wasn't that much. You can pick it all up at the dollar store. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this kind of how-to, and don't forget to click subscribe and drop a comment if you know a better way of doing some of this stuff or better products. I would appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. You folks have a great day. Bye-bye.